so um, I went through this whole intro and everything and I just started layering my cup and I just realized, did I press record? Um, so quick save, there you go. I've, I've, you're now here with me and uh, maybe I'll go through my intro in the next video. Um, so I'm using Prussian Blue, uh, Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue mixed, uh, I have about three parts Floetrol in this one. Uh, to one part paint. This is Golden's Iridescent Fine. Um, and I have uh, Iridescent's Gold Fine. And I'm not even sure how that's mixed up, but uh, I don't recall. This is 24K Gold by Decoart, mixed equal parts. Um, this is Fire Opal by Folk Art, mixed equal parts as well. That's one part Floetrol to one part paint. Um, my white is two parts Floetrol to one part paint and a little bit of uh, satin enamel added to each. This is full uh, Art Minds Brush Metallic Sapphire. I make a big bottle of it. Um, it's a 3.2 ounce paint bottle and I add eight ounces, take note, eight ounces of Floetrol to it, to each bottle. Of paint. All right. This is Prussian Green by Arteza. Six ounces of Floetrol to one and a half ounces of paint. can't believe I did that. I think that's like the second time I've done that and it's like so discouraging because I had this really, really beautiful thank you to so many people. <laughs> but it is what it is. We'll do it again the next time. I'm just happy I realized that I was not recording. Almost down. Good Lord. That was close. I think I'll do a little fire opal right on top of the sapphire. All right. Let's get these paints out of the way. Got my torch ready. The TV's on in the background in the other room. So I apologize if it's distracting. I know some people complain about that, but we're not here for that. We're here for this. All right, now it's gonna be pure silence and no breathing for the next minute and a half. <laughs> Bear with us.
and breathe. All right. Just gonna scrape out whatever's in here. green against the gold and vice versa. I've got to definitely uh, experiment with that. I did not add coral to this one. I really, uh, somebody had mentioned about uh, the fire opal. So I figured I'd test it out and see how it does on its own without the coral. I did add the gold, of course, but um, and the fine gold is in there, so I'm not sure. Looks like there's a whole lot of gold going on there, so we shall see. Like what I did there? See? Aha. All right. Uh, somebody asked um, on my video, one of my videos, um, why do I put all this white around the edge? And if I needed it basically for flow purposes, um, why not just use more paint in a cup? So, or a larger cup for that matter. Um, I've come down to a answer that I think is pretty on cue. So the, if you put more paint in a cup, that means there's more paint on the canvas, um, in the puddle per se. And when that happens, that means you're going to have more composition loss in the long run. So in order to um, maintain the composition inside the puddle, um, you sort of need a smaller amount of paint in your puddle uh, because with the paints that I'm using it requires stretching to open up these bands and if there's more paint there then the, well then if there's more paint in the puddle then there's going to be less stretching because I'm not going to want to lose as much composition that's there um, so there'd be more paint end up on in the in the puddle. I that may not make any sense, but experience for me is that um, you just I just use the 18 ounce cup and my composition seems to be um, perfect in my eyes. Um, so it's it's always the right amount of paint for me to move my paint. And I put the white around the edges because. If I don't put the white around the edges and use just the 18 ounces of paint or 20 ounces of paint in my 18 ounce cup, um, I then have a situation where, where the composition then rolls over its side as it stretches. So I gotta put a fairly thick layer of the white around it. I've tried thin layer of paint and it still rolls. So. I just flood it with white paint. I don't care how much I'm losing. I'm basically losing more Floetrol in the long run than I am paint, and I'm okay with that. Plus the Artist Loft white paint is fairly inexpensive and it goes far. Um, I don't use house paint, it's too thin. 
um, it's too thin to to use like this because uh, it'll flow right off and then the paint just moves too quickly so all right I mean, the composition is still gonna roll over itself a little bit, but it's not gonna be as bad as if it was a thin layer of white paint. I don't wanna lose a whole lot. And with that said, I didn't put enough over here. So I'm gonna add a little here, cause I know it's gonna be a problem. And I'm gonna add a little more over here because this area of the puddle has some pretty cool composition going on. All right. So now let's go this way. I can already see the fire opal in the center and it's really, really cool. I'm gonna bring it back. So right now I'm just slowly opening up bands and the cells are appearing. Got a very yummy gold center um, and I'm sort of excited to see how it turns out. I'm going to torch again to bring out some more cells because the more movement in the paint moves paint layers underneath it which then in turn cells pop up. I'm really really loving right here and right here. So this is this is going to be a test. These edges are really neat also. They look like green seaweed <laughs> with some blue in them. So let's get stretching so we can see what we discover. Just letting it go over just a little bit at a time. I think I want to get it right to the corner too quickly here. You guys may not be able to see, so maybe I'll move this around. One more quarter turn so that you guys can see it. I know a lot of times I'm not set up like all the uh, other folks with the big gear above and you know, it's a process. I'm trying to build a studio out back here and independent building out outside. And But that is just, we had a very busy year, so we didn't get to finishing it. Like we had hoped. Oh, I love it. The fire opal is in there and it's just so pretty. All right, I'm gonna bring it back this way. I love this area though, so I think I'm gonna just keep it the way it is. I'm gonna put some blue paint there. So I'm gonna bring it over to this edge. I changed my mind. I'm going to come back over here. Yeah, this is, I love it. Different, but I love it. All right, let me 
wash off my gloves real quick. so pretty I would stretch this out more but I don't want to I love what's going on here it's like seagrass and it's really really neat um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna first bring this back towards me a little bit All right. Okay, let's bring you guys in after I torch one more time. I'll tell you, the fire opal really came through beautifully on this one. Um, let's see here. So this is what I did not want to uh, run off. I mean, I love, I love that look. It looks like seagrass. So, anyways, this is where we're at. I love this piece. I love how the white gives definition. Then over here is more gold with bits of fire opal in there. And the cells are transparent. They're so cool. Um, and it's, it's just so neat. So on this side, there is the same seagrass part that I liked from the other side. But I wanted to see if I could open the composition a little bit. And yes, the bands did widen over here, but I did lose the seagrassy look. It's sort of Van Gogh-ish. Um, so these cells are less opaque 
than those. And I mean, I can see right through them. And I really, really love how this piece turned out. It's just amazing. I'm very pleased that the opal did not muddy anything. So, and there's not a whole lot of white in the middle, which I'm, I'm happy about as well. I wasn't going for that, but I also was afraid I was gonna get this big white splotch. Now, people have asked for more white in here on their own pieces, and my suggestion is to add a little extra white. Very little, because a lot of it gets stretched out, and the more you stretch, the more it appears, etc. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. It means the world to me, and um, it, helps me with confidence in bringing uh, more beautiful artwork to you. I have a PayPal me link if you feel so inclined to be a patron of the arts and um, make a donation towards my love of uh, bringing this art to you. Um, it helps create more beautiful pieces. It's not a requirement. If you'd like to share my videos, that really, really helps um, a lot. I have a art page on Facebook that um, is my own art page that um, if you'd like to see my work, I post in there as well. Sales inquiries can either go through the email address provided underneath in the description, or you can message me on either Instagram or um, Facebook. Every piece is for sale. Um, if it's sold, then it's sold, but I've got pieces going back over a year, so you you can possibly find something you like. If you have any questions, the um, I'm more than happy to answer them, give sizes for you, and quotes, no pressure. You know, I give you the quote. If you like it, you like it. If not, don't worry about it. No problem at all. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You have a great day. Bye.